As you can see, guys, I have opened the hood here. Uh, we have a bit of a problem. Uh, the car has lost power and uh, it says engine fault. Now I went to the guys who have a special scanner to scan to check what's the problem. It's saying that there is low boost from the turbocharger. I'll put a picture somewhere in the corner or somewhere in, on this video so that you see the message saying that there is low boost. Now, I don't know if the table, you know, is dead or what's the problem. Uh, because he was suggesting maybe we need to change the table. So, because I have another car that has the engine uh, and the table there seems to be just in good condition. So I'm going to take off this table, check it, see if it's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, if there's something wrong with it, then I'll put the other table and see if uh, anything will change. I'll take the car back to him to clear the the, the fault code, and uh, hopefully that's about it. You know. Right. I removed the screws for this cover. I removed this. It goes here, and uh, I removed uh, this pipe. It goes here. It's very simple to remove this pipe. The, this, you just push this like that, and then you pull the pipe that way. I put back the balls. Every time I do this, I put back the balls because I had a situation where I, I finish the jobs and I'm left with balls and nuts, and I don't know where they came from. So I now started putting back. After I remove, I put it exactly where it came from. So I removed this. Okay, so it has two nuts, two nuts and one bolt on the side here. Two nuts, here is one nut. I'm putting them back to where they were because I don't want to have a situation whereby I finish the job and I'm left with lots and lots of uh, nuts and bolts or two. And I look everywhere, everywhere bolts are... Uh, I've, I've put balls everywhere they need to be, but I'm still left with few here, you know, as DIYers, funny. This is the table, look how tiny it is, this is how tiny it is. So I'm going to put WD-40 here on this, and this is for the oil, oil goes in here and then goes up at, at the bottom there, so I'm just removing this part. And uh, also, the this is the one that creates the vacuum actuator. They call it. This. It pushes this. It works very well. It's just fine. Okay. So, and then there's a clamp here. Remove this clamp from the the housing for the DPF. Okay. So, one, two. There are others at the bottom there. Here. Uh, how are we going to get to those at the bottom? Very strange. Uh, I will see. I will tell you how I got to them. I might need to... Yeah, I'm going to remove this and move to the side. All right. This, there is a, this clip that holds this arm. You put a tiny screwdriver here, push up, then it comes off. No, 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 I'm going to take my weight back. Uh, instead of removing all this, you can leave the housing and just remove this clamp here. That, then this will go out that way. Oh, that will save work because I thought of, this why I put WD-40 here. I was going to remove this, that, that. So just here, okay? Uh, and then the oil, uh, this pipe here, remove the... I think there's another one at the bottom, so remove this one here, okay, and the one at the bottom as well, okay, so you don't need to remove the whole thing here, just that, here, the clamp here, okay, all right, folks, uh, the table is out, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this table, to be honest, it's, uh, everything is, seems to be just fine, so, I don't understand why they they say that uh, you know that the computer saying there is low boost 
from the table. It seems to be just fine. You know, it's not moving up and down, it's solid. So, I just don't know. I'm going to just change it anyway and uh, maybe also change these pipes take the ones from the other car just to you know see if there will be any change but the table like i said it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it it's just fine you know okay so i'm going to take out uh, the other table to remove it from here it will be very tight in there so you need a screwdriver between the housing and to push it that way okay and also there is a pin here the pin goes lines up with this hole here if you don't line up the pin this pin with this hole the table wouldn't go back in so i'm going to take out the other one from the other car and put it here see if there will be any change all right Right, I'm putting back the, well, this is the one that just came from here. Um, this one comes from the other car. I just swapped them. I don't see any difference. They seem to be just fine. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm putting back everything and uh, uh, reinstalling is exactly the opposite of uninstalling. So when you remove them, you just follow that process backwards. I'm going to change these pipes as well because I don't see any problem here uh, why this thing is not, you know, pushing air in. I have no idea. So I'm going to change this, change this one as well, because there might be a, a leakage of boost somewhere. But normally with these, if there's a leakage of boost, you hear it hissing. It's not hissing, so... I have no idea what's going on. Okay, guys, so I'll leave it here. This is how you take out the table and put it back, okay? Right, I just changed the pollen filter. And uh, look at all this this mess, you know. The last time I changed this was two years ago. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. You know, I never thought that it would be this dirty, to be honest with you. I thought it's a it's a minor thing to deal with. But my goodness, look at all that. Now, this one is the, the engine filter, the air filter for the engine. And two years as well, this. I changed them at the same time at the time, so... But I don't know, it doesn't look like it has a lot of mess inside, uh, as you can see. But it is pretty much dirty, uh, you know, but it's not as bad as that. Because in the taxi, I run the fan all the time. I don't like other people's breath and sneezes and all that, so the fan is always running to blow the air to the back of the car. I would suggest in a taxi change this every at least six months. These things are not expensive. It's only seven quid. And maybe you can get it even cheaper on eBay for how much? Three pound. You know, this one is, uh, I think this one was 18 pound. Uh, I don't know. I'll look at the, there's some, I'll write on the description because I, I think I have a receipt for, for both of them. You know, so this needs changing at least if you're driving a taxi twice a year this and this one as well twice a year but if it's just a car that is used at home you use you do very low mileage maybe once a year and this one once a year but for taxi twice a year twice a year okay guys now the car is okay the table seems to be pushing i don't know if it's because this was dirty but it does it wouldn't make any sense for this to to stop the table to have the boost we will see we will see i'll keep driving it and see what happens but at the moment it's all right it's, it's whistling also i don't know if it's the new table that i took from the other car that is doing the job my table is dead which i just don't know how because it looked just fine so that's it guys 
Don't forget about this, these two things. Okay, bye bye. Ta.